<laughs> it was so great. So I'm looking very forward to see that movie in the cinema. And now let's focus on creating Nick Wilde. Well, as you can see, I always start with the head. After that, I create the ears out of three different layers of clay. The inner part is a brighter one, it's like ochre. And um, outside there is orange and of course there has to be some brown. The eyes are a bit tricky to create because you need white, some green and black for the iris. I start with the white, make some space for the green, uh, push everything together that it really looks like if it's made out of one piece. After that you put in the black tiny, the tiny black dots. And I also added, um, you may have noticed it, some white for the shining in the eye. After that we focus on the eyelids. And uh, of course the nose of the fox. Beside our fox, Nick Wilde, there is another main actor. And she's called Judy Hobbs and she's a rabbit. Well, she tries to fulfill her dream of becoming the very first um, police officer, a rabbit police officer in the department. When I first saw the trailer, I was thinking that this would be the next Pixar movie. But it isn't. It's another studio, I think. I don't remember the name. But this movie would perfectly fit into the release list of Pixar. It always um, deals with toys, animals, robots, cars, uh, which come to al come to life and uh, have to experience an adventure. But this year there will be a new Pixar movie. After Finding Nemo in 2003, I think, there will be Finding Dory. I'm very looking forward to that one and I will definitely make a character on this movie. Any fish or octopus or other humans in the movie? Maybe some divers? We will see. Yeah, back to Mr. Wild. Uh, before I started creating this figure, I was struggling because I didn't know how to get the fur um, well, look like a fur. And I was thinking to use some wool or some fake uh, fur, which I would attach and glue to the figure. Well, finally I decided to use a knife, as you can see uh, on the head part, and to, uh, yeah, to, what's it called, to make tiny scratches. Um, and it looks nice, it really looks nice. What do you think about it? <laughs> Maybe I'm the only one who likes that style. <laughs> Almost forgot that part on the eyelid. That's very important as it makes the eyes uh, more characteristic. You saw that I created a wire for this figure out of aluminum wire. Um, I made that for different reasons. The main reason is that there is um, the fox tail and it is very heavy and for a good stand the minifigure needs to have a skeleton. Sometimes when creating it's like meditation, you don't realize um, some important parts like that these trousers are very light grey but the original figure has a very dark grey um, trousers so maybe you should mix that uh, with, with a bit of black. When I looked at some pictures of Nick Wilde I recognized there is a pattern on the shirt, some kind of uh, design, uh, Hawaii design style, um, but I ignored that because uh, it would have been too complicated. But instead, I'm creating some nice buttons. <laughs> the sad part is that you won't see them as the tie is laying right over them. <laughs> yeah, back to focus. We are creating the arms. Uh, orange and brown are mixed to 
get that nice look and uh, after that you put inside the aluminum wire to get a um, yeah, nice gesture. Uh, the fingers are created as I show you. Just use the knife for that. Make sure to round the, the block um, fingers. And after that, uh, with a very, very thin green layer, you create a shirt over the arms. Put it aside and we will create the tie. It's made out of dark blue. I mixed that color as I didn't have any dark blue anymore. And purple to get these stripes. Well, and then you only have to cut it right in shape. Um, make sure that you don't forget the other parts of the tie I'm creating right now. The knot. Always. 